we tried to get her last time for the functional conf, she couldn't make it, but I'm glad she's here. And I'll let her introduce herself. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. <coughs> okay. Right. Yeah. <coughs> Good God. It's uh, 9 a.m. in the morning. And I'm apparently giving the opening keynote for this conference. I'm not a morning person. I can only assume that this means that Naresh is trying to kill me. But I'll try and soldier on. Um, I got image. I think we're good. Right. Um, so what I'm going to do today to get you sort of warmed up for the entire three days of the conference is I'm going to do some live coding for you. I'm going to actually just write a game. And I'm going to show you some, some interesting techniques for doing that. But before I start that, let me just talk about the state of JavaScript currently. Because I'm just going to come right out and, and say it. I'm a hipster. That means, by my definition, that I like to feel special and, and smarter and, and more superior to, to other programmers. Which means that, obviously, I go into functional programming, because functional programming is a splendid tool for making other people feel stupid. But the state of JavaScript today, though, is sort of not doing it for me. We've got these giant frameworks everywhere. I mean, jQuery is good, OK. It's tiny, but you've got like uh, Angular and, and Ember and, and other giant things. Like, Angular actually has dependency injection. Do you know what that makes me think? It's like, it's enterprise programming, isn't it? And that's not really what I sign up for. It doesn't make me feel like I'm doing anything special. Because in functional programming, you have things like, you have this vocabulary from mathematics, which is just amazing for confusing people. Like, you've got the closely arrows, you've got the, the you need dilemmas. I'm not sure what a you need dilemma is, but it, apparently you need one. Um, and so I go into morphic pre-promorphisms. That's a real thing in Haskell. And, and there's nothing like a word like, actually, I had to practice a lot to, to learn how to say psychohistomorphic pre-promorphisms. <coughs> and there's nothing like it to make other programmers feel like, what's going on? I, I have no idea what's happening here. 